In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We also welcome our brother, priest, Father Joe Marcibug, from our headquarters in Santo Domingo. And we prepare ourselves for this celebration by first pausing for a while, call to mind all our sins and failures, and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you, and I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture, on every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the, from the north and the west, and some from the land of Siyini. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Please stand. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. 
For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only that, only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son <clears throat> give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Maganda umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Mahal na mahal ng Panginoon, mahal na mahal ng Diyos, ang chosen people, yung mga Israelites, the chosen people in the Old Testament. Mahal na mahal ng Diyos sila. Bakit? According to Isaiah, sabi ng Diyos sa kanila, they shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. He leads them and guides them beside springs of water. Hindi, hindi pa babaya ang maghirap, hindi pa babaya ang mauhaw at magutom, aalagaan sila. Sabi pa, even should the mother, ito na mas maganda, even should the mother forget her infant, or be without tenderness for her child in her womb, God will never forget. Can you imagine, di ba, nanay pag nanay, parang isip natin talagang buong buhay na talaga, ibibigay, no? Para sa kanyang anak. Pero kahit-kahit mangyari na yung nanay mismo ay hindi makapag-alaga sa kanyang sariling anak ng maayos, God will never do that. God will always be faithful. God will take care of us as much as He can. Infinitely. Because God is infinite. Pero mas maganda dito ay hindi lang yung pag-aalaga ng Diyos sa mga Israelites, sa chosen people. Ang mas maganda ay yung chosen people ay tayo na yon ngayon. We are the chosen people of today. And because of that, applicable sa atin itong sinabi ng Prophet Isaiah, God will take care of us. God will, will look after us. Because God loves us very much, just as He loved the chosen people, the Israelites. Sabi sa, dito sa gospel na binasya natin, sabi ni Jesus, Just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, the Son also gives life. Ang Diyos nagbibigay ng buhay, nagpapa-enrich, nagpapa nagpapayaman, nagpapaibayo ng buhay makes life more meaningful he gives us 
uh, literally life, but also makes that life more meaningful, more alive, more dynamic, more fruitful. God helps us to do that. And so does Jesus. So does Jesus. Sabi pa, whoever hears Jesus' word and believes in the Father, the one who sent him, sent Jesus, has eternal life and will not come to condemnation. Kumaniniwala lang sa Panginoon kay Jesus, sa Ama, sa Diyos Ama, magkakaroon ng eternal life. Dahil kasi siyempre, kapag niniwala ka kay Jesus, niniwala sa Diyos Ama at sa Spiritu Santo, hindi lang naman yung paniniwala sa utak lang. Yung paniniwala na yun dapat matatranslate sa ating pamumuhay. Yung paniniwala na yun dapat nakikita, maaninag, maanino sa ating pamumuhay. Baliwala yung faith kung hanggang isip lang o hanggang puso lang. Dapat may action din. Dapat, dapat isinasabuhay. Kaya nga, napakandaming beses, di ba dito sa gospel na binasa natin na mention yung life. Only in God there is life. Sige sa mga, mga sinasabi sa gospel. Only in God, only in the Father, only in Jesus is there life. And when we are life-giving, therefore, kapag tayo nagpapaibay, nagpapaganda ng buhay ng ating sarili at ng buhay ng ibang tao, then we become like God. Nagiging tayong parang Diyos. Kapag pinapa-enrich natin ang buhay ng ibang tao, di ba? Kapag tinutulungan natin sila, kapag sumusunod tayo sa mga examples ni Jesus, um, we become like God. We also um, contribute to eternal life. And we can also, fo- because we can also follow God because He is the way and the truth and the life. So parang dikit-dikit sila, no? they are all integrated. Ang Diyos ng buhay, nagbibigay ng buhay. Kaya tayo rin, kung sumusunod tayo sa Diyos dahil naniniwala tayo sa Diyos, dapat din nagbibigay tayo ng buhay. Maybe not, maybe not in the way that God created life from scratch. But we give life by making life better for other people. Paano natin ginagawa? Tatlong bagay. Sa tatlong areas ng ating buhay. Meron kasi tatlong, tayong tatlong areas ng buhay. Una sa pag-iisip. Sa pag-iisip. Dapat mag-iisip tayong somehow parang katulad ng Diyos. Yung, yung pag-iisip na tatranslate sa ating pagsasalita. So dapat din nagsasalita yung pananalita natin para din katulad ng Diyos. At yung pananalita na yan ay dapat nabubuhay sa gawa, sa pamumuhay, sa action. So dapat ang action natin parang Diyos din. Paano nagiging parang Diyos? Kapag yung pag-iisip natin, pananalita natin, paggalaw natin, pamumuhay natin, ay tatlo din. Truth, totoo, good, mabuti, and beautiful, maganda. Kaya kung gusto natin talagang sumunod sa Diyos, kung gusto natin talagang lumago ang ating eternal life, we have to think in the way that God did, to think positively. Avoid suspicions, di ba? Huwag masyadong maghinala sa ibang tao. Mag-avoid ng jealousy or hatred, lalo na, no? Iwasan na yung sobrang galit sa ibang tao. I- umiwas sa, sa pagiging pintasero. At pintasera. But therefore, think good thoughts. Lagi mabuting isip, mabuting pag-iisip. Huwag mag-isip na hindi maganda sa ibang tao. Hindi yan madaling gawin, di ba? Madali, napakadali kasi mag-isip ng hindi maganda sa ibang tao. Eh kaya nga, challenge yun para sa atin. We are being challenged. If you want to be like God, if you want to enrich our eternal life, our life in eternity, then we need to think like God. Think positively. Think good thoughts. Think good thoughts. At kung nag-isip ka na ng good thoughts, malamang, Siguro naman, tutulong yan para maging magsalita tayo ng mabubuti. Paano magsalita ng buti? Mag-praise, magpuri sa ibang tao. Mag-affirm. Purihin yung mga kanyang mabubuting mga ginagawa. Avoid bashing. Mag-console instead of complaining. Console instead of complain. Give helpful suggestions. Reconcile. Avoid rumors. Even if they're true, 
avoid rumors, rather speak of the good things that people can do and are doing. Sabi nga, if you can't say anything good, don't say anything. Wala kang masabing mabuti, maayos, na totoo, ka nalang magsalita. Diba? Speak the truth always. But even then, as you speak the truth, speak the truth gently. Para hindi ka rin sobra naman makasakit ng damdamin ng ibang tao. Kapag nagsasalita ka ng maayos, na maganda, ng totoo, malamang gagawin mo, ganun din. Sa papano? Choose what is right. Ang piliin natin na gagawin, ipuputin i- 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 to action, ay yung tama. Yung tama, hindi yung convenient. Hindi yung madali, hindi yung masarap. Yung tama. Choose to do what is right. And be sensitive to others. Be sensitive to others. So pwede natin tanong sa ating sarili, malamang ginagaw na rin natin yung mga bagay na yan, di ba? Kaya lang baka mayroon pang pagkukulang. So siguro pwede natin tanong sa ating sarili, in what other ways can I give life? In what other ways can I give life not just to myself, but also especially to others? In what other ways can I give life to others? Because the more I give life to others, the more I become like God. The more I become like God, the more I can claim eternal life. And if we all can do that while even here on earth, then life on earth will become like heaven. Diba? Kung lahat tayo magiging makadyos sa ating isip, salita, sa gawa, na parang langit na dito sa lupa, it would be, it would be a better place. It would be a better place. Kaya walang tigil yun. Lagi, lagi, we're trying, we're always struggling, challenging ourselves to be like God in our thoughts, in our speech, in our actions. Let us all stand now. And as we bring our petitions before the altar of God, let us ask for the strength and faith to abide by His will. After each petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may guide her members in the path of goodness and bring them in God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may turn away from sin with all our hearts and be obedient to God's laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that all those who are undergoing trial and persecution on account of their faith may persevere and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may follow the example given to us by Jesus and conform to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally receive God's promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to align ourselves with your will so that we may live in the manner you desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for a good and the good of all His holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercif mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, 
and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, you should enter under my roof, but only speech. say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1st, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may teach, reach you their highest good, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help us in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.